Welcome once again, everybody, to the Alienware Update, where we cover the latest in Alienware products and news. I'm your host today, Maud Garrett, and covering all product news is Trisha Hirschberger. You'll see her shortly. Today, we're doing something a little different. Sometimes in life, it's all about who you know, but today, it's all about what you know for the latest edition of the Alienware Update, game show style. Specifically, what you know about five big categories, gaming, esports, gaming culture, the history of Alienware, and finally, the latest Alienware products. We're going to introduce the three teams shortly, and to make it even better, our contestants will be competing for their charity of choice. But don't worry, you at home have an opportunity to play along and receive 25 ARP just for participating. If you're an Alienware Arena member or sign up to be one after the show. Just scan the QR code on your screen to open up the experience or go to play.myquiz.org and use the code 8053686 to play along. You know, somebody in the back didn't want the contestants to have it too easy. There's gonna be some surprise challenges thrown into the mix. You know what? I wouldn't even worry about it, actually. Hey, speaking of surprises, you're also going on a global voyage today as we check out some of our favorite ambassadors from around the world and see how they use their Alienware X14 laptops in their lives. Stick around to learn how you can have the chance to win your very own X14. We can't wait to show you the newest in Alienware products and have some guests here to talk through the latest features. What? I'm sorry, um, the product apparently hasn't arrived yet and we are gonna cross to a live feed from our couriers. How much time we got? Four minutes, 52 seconds, 51. 50. Okay, we get it. The countdown is not Yoshi, out. Yoshi, when the brief said be stage ready, that didn't mean get dressed in the moving van. Yeah, the suit and tie thing feels a little bit formal. I'm presenting the tech. You're not presenting at the Oscars. Okay, why don't I focus on looking good and you focus on laptoping? Nigel, are we happy? Are we happy? Okay, the brief says to press the backpack for the stage and tweet out a photo along with hashtag what's in the bag. Done. Uh, what about the new monitor? That's not gonna fit in the backpack. Already at the studio, dude. Yes, I know we're late. What do you want? Where are you guys? What is taking so long? Is that Alex? I specifically told Alex not to drive. Alex, I told you not to drive. He, he, he can't hear you. He can hear you, but... Hey, no, no, no. Don't blame me. Jen took us on some detour. We are trying to stay off the radar. That's why we boarded up the window. Which is a safety hazard, by the way. I said he shouldn't drive. I said it in the brief. You tell him that, and I want to hear you say, Shh, Alex, don't listen to him. You're going to make a right at the next intersection. Got it. It is 2013. All over again. Go around, man. Why is everybody honking at me? Wait. What? They found us. Who? The gamers. Punch it. I feel like it's my legal obligation to say that you're committing several road violations. Yeah, I'm aware. Don't, I, I know that road. Tell him to stay on that road. It leads to a freeway right over here. Hey, this is my thing. I'm the guy in the chair. Right? Right. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna continue down that road. It leads to a freeway. Can't you just hack into the car and make it go faster or something? Oh, oh yeah, let me just use the laptop to hack into the van. What do you think she does? She's in marketing. I'm doing my best. Wait for the event! Hey, 
I need you tweeting. Keep this hype train going. Well, they're fighting. Welcome to the gaming industry. Okay. They're fighting. fighting. They're fighting in the back of the van. I don't think that fighting our customers is good for our brand image. Oh, someone help me out here. Remember, I'm laptoping. You're doing great, buddy. Bob and Weave, Alex. Bob and Weave. How? I'm in a cargo van. We're almost at the studio. Take the next off ramp. You're doing great, Alex. I always believed in you. You're at the studio. Turn! Turn! Big bump coming up! Coming in hot! Nigel, just take it and go inside! But, but you're presenting! Just go! Okay! Okay, wait, 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 wait! Wait! Okay. If you two calm down, I'll let you go inside and you can test the products. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, guess we could have just asked instead of attacking the dog. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Gamers. Um, I got the stuff. What do I do with this? Are you the guy? Well, I guess so. Hey guys, we got the guy. What took you so long? Uh, uh, All right. Start with the heart. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't mess up. Nigel, I'm so glad you made it on time. Um, how are you? How's the product? You know what? I was on the edge of my seat, but I'm not sitting down. All right, it looks really good. You did a great job. Thank you. Did I get the job? We'll call you. Um, can I get someone to take this, please? Oh, guard it with your life. Oh no, we're done now. Thank you. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing about them later in the show as Trisha and our key alien experts will be diving deeper into our latest products. But before that happens, let's introduce you to our contestants. Oh, this is Ooh, red. red. Okay. Oh, that's me. Oh, wow. Look at the view. So sleek and lovely. I'm on a roof. My aesthetic. I'm on a roof. First up, we have Quarter Jade playing for You Are Rad. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you chose that charity. Hi, I am a full-time Twitch streamer. I play a lot of FPS games and I chose Rad because they have done a lot to help me. They help people afford and um, access therapists. Oh, I love that. Next up is Sigils playing for Able Gamers. Hey there. Hi, Maude. Thanks for having us. Uh, I chose Able Gamers because they focus on making gaming accessible to everyone to help people build better and stronger relationships and not be isolated. And I think that's super cool. And what do you do? I'm a YouTuber. Up next, Damien Haas, you're playing for the Trevor Project. That's right, Maude. Hi. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer, all around uh, internet haha -ha, funny boy on the sketch comedy channel Smosh. And I'm playing for the Trevor Project because LGBTQ youth need support, they need resources, they need love, and they always need to know that there is an option. Next, let's meet the Geek Entry playing for Extra Life. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm Geek, I'm a strummer, and I'm also an actor. <laughs> and I'm supporting Extra Life, uh, which helps sick kids. Shifting over to Brian W. Foster, playing for Inside Out Riders. Hey there, Brian, how are you going? I'm great, Maude, and can I say it's great to see you even though you keep returning my Christmas cards. My name's Brian, and I'm a Twix streamer, a musician, and I create uh, conflict on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm playing for Inside Out Writers, which is a program for incarcerated youth that uses creative writing to rehabilitate and get uh, the youth in touch with their emotions before they re-enter society. Very oh, you do have a heart. That's sweet. Yeah. Finally, we have Erica Ishii <laughs> playing for Black Girls Code. Thanks so much, Maude. Hi, I'm Erica Ishii. I'm an actor that you might have heard in Apex Legends or Halo Infinite or Call of Duty or seen playing tabletop games all over the internet. And I am playing for Black Girls Code, which provides tech education to young women of color uh, because we really need to provide for underserved communities. 
Loving that. All amazing charities, all deserving of the winning money that you could be getting for them. So now that we all know each other and we all understand that there's a lot at stake here, let's review the rules. I'm going to read a question out loud, followed by multiple choice answers. Yeah, it's kind of easy. Now the first team to buzz in will get the chance to answer. Please wait until I am done reading all the options. If your team gets it correct, you will receive five points. Now if you get the answer wrong, the other team does have an opportunity to steal the answer and if they get it correctly, get those five points. After two attempts though, if you don't get it then, the question is considered dead. For those of you at home, you still have a chance to play along. You can scan the QR code on your screen to get in on the action and get 25 ARP just for participating if you're an Alienware Arena member or you can sign up to be one after the show. Or you can go to play.myquiz.org and use the code 805368 to play along. Alrighty, let's jump into our very first category. We are starting with gaming. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How are we feeling? I love video games. I've heard of those. The Maybe. gaming. Yes. Okay. The gaming. Round one, gaming. Question number one. PUBG Battlegrounds recently made headlines with the news that it would be doing what in 2022? Your multiple choice answers are A. Releasing a playable version on Nintendo Switch. B, moving to a free-to-play model, or C, adding a single-player campaign. Straight in there. Damien, I believe that was you who got it first. I'm guessing. I'm going to say uh, A. That is uh, releasing a playable version on Nintendo Switch. Yes. Yeah, that's not right. No. Oh, no. Uh, who wants to go next? Oh, boom. We're over here. Yes, team. I completely forgot all the options. Don't worry. B. Unbelievable, you are actually correct. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Back of luck. Yes, moving to a free-to-play model was the answer for that one. Well done, You gave it away with your eyes, and you're, you're right next whoa, to Whoa, 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 whoa. That was I only saw panic, if I could be <laughs> Alrighty, question number two. If you refer to the monitor right you're there, the following screenshot is from what upcoming game? Is it A, Dead Rising 6, B, Dying Light 2, or C, Resident Evil 9. Sigils, I saw you with the sharp hand there. C. Resident Evil 9, incorrect. Yes. Yes, Damien, I saw that swift hand. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say A. Dead Rising 6? Yes. It's literally multiple choice. I thought, but you know what? I thought, I I thought that one was broken. a different one. Oh no, so, there it goes. All right. Well. Just like this game, I too am dying. <sighs> it is Dying Light 2 was the answer. I thought that was A, Bob. That was B. Okay, nobody gets I know that now. That was B. That's okay. We've got more questions. I did think it was oh. We have more questions. So Jules You're fluking win. it. You're not you said it. it. For cool. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many people are watching. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Question number three. Oh. GeForce RTX GPUs were the first consumer GPUs to offer dedicated hardware to process real-time ray tracing in video games. Is it A, true, or B, false? Go quarter, Jade. 50-50, true. How do you do it? <laughs> you are correct. It is true. The GeForce RTX 20 series introduced dedicated RT cores to gamers. Well done. Okay, <laughs> force to be reckoned with. Just luck of the draw. Question number four, you ready for this one? Yes. For this next question, let's hear from Fangetta, our Alienware ambassador from Australia. What cheerful, colorful game was Nintendo's best-selling title in 2020? Super Mario Party, Animal Crossing New Horizons, or Splatoon 2? Your buzzer works, well done, Erica and Brian. B, Animal Crossing. You are 100% right. Oh, 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 oh. Animal Crossing no. New Horizons no. was basically the game that helped us all meditate yes. in 2020 when the world was collapsing around us. Give me them bells, baby! I'm not you sure if the lighting tired. is changing in the studio or if shade is being thrown around, <laughs> but we're on to question number five. The game seen here was recently name-checked by Mark Zuckerberg, who called it his favorite VR game to play with friends. What is the name of this game? Is it A, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, B, Dead Rising 5, or C, Arizona Sunshine? Brian. A. 
You are thinking this is Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I am. It is not. It is not. It's, why didn't you stop me? Because you just said it. Can it what? <laughs> Brian was wrong, and even though, Erica, you are right, it is incorrect, I cannot <laughs> pass it to you, but the geek entry, I believe, that you buzzed, uh, passing it off to Damien Swiftly. Arizona Sunshine. You are 100% correct. Yeah, yes, I we got that one. That. Amazing, we both were I gonna say so it. Bad. Yes! I felt so bad, I, <laughs> I gave you guys that one. Thank you, keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for the point. You should've said Sweet Baby Race. What a relief, you are all now on the scoreboard. Question number six. What is the name of this character? Is it A, Kairos, B, Kratos, or C, Spyros? Yes, Erica? B, Kratos. You betcha it is. Boy! Is this working? I thought it was Kyle. That's for you, Corey. And for question number seven, let's kick it back to Fangetta for this one. In a first-person shooter, a player who finds a hidden spot and waits for others to come to them is called a what? Loner, Camper, or Griefer? Now, Sigils and Quarter Jade, you did buzz in first, but you didn't wait for me to finish reading out the answer, so I will be passing it over to you too, and whoever can buzz in first when I say, now. Oh, there you go, geek entry, Damien Haas. What do we got? B. Camper. <laughs> it 100% is Camper. I can't this. There you go, you got another point. <laughs> no, I said I'm camping the button. Nice. A great demonstration Loser. on what camping Loser. is. And using Thank you. the term even. Question number eight. What game has sold over 155 million copies since its release in 2013 and still manages to earn over $2.5 million per day in 2022? Is it A, Minecraft, B, GTA 5, C, The Sims 3, University Life? Mm. Sigils? A. No. Minecraft? Ah! Erica! GTA 5! No. 100% correct! Oh, one, one, one. Right, yes! Minecraft was not the right answer. I was looking for GTA 5. Erica's team with the point for that one. Oh, at least a million of that Wait, money is mine. Uh, question number nine. Are we all ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> the penultimate question. Oh what? my goodness. What? I just needed your attention. What did you say? <laughs> In 1998, this game was released and is credited in helping to popularize esports in South Korea. What is the game? Is it A, StarCraft? B, GoldenEye 007, or C, FIFA 99. Erica's team? Oh. A, StarCraft. You are absolutely correct, it is yes. StarCraft. Yes. 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 Yeah. My favourite part was because in a COVID world, you didn't know if you could hug and there was a slight pause. Oh, so there was, could... yeah. Yeah, there were, yeah. <laughs> I, was just I, was saying, say I was just saying GoldenEye is not the answer, but I didn't get the whole part out. Mm -hmm. I just said GoldenEye. Oh, well, that, look at the, ooh, the <laughs> points. Ooh, the points. This is the last question for round one gaming. And to ask it, we have MVM Design, our ambassador from China. Take it away. 以下哪款游戏没有被拍摄成长篇幅电影？A.古墓丽影，B.守望先锋，C.超级马里奥兄弟。Sure, Question is, which of these Blizzard games was made first? Was it A. World of Warcraft, B. Starcraft, or C. The Lost Vikings? Erica. C. The Lost Vikings. You are absolutely correct. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I remember my father's face, but am I good at trivia? Brandon, did you do anything? Or is what? it all Erica answering everything correctly? I have been s silently feeding her the answers through uh, earpiece. Well, you guys currently are very much in the lead. The Geek Entry, Damien, you are currently tied with oh, Sigils wait. and Quartz. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Oh. Wait, hold up, what? That's how that's going. <laughs> You can't give something the L sign when you're tied. That's not how that works. You're like, wow, you guys suck at the exact same level we do. That's not how that works. Literally not that level. Maybe the geek entry is just not used to losing. It would be new for her. Thank you. Or Thank just you. think of it as you guys are tied for last place. Or we're second winners. That's not what my grandpappy used to say. I'm your silver Let's leave medal. the emotional baggage at home as we move on to the challenge segment. Now, each team must decide one person to do the challenge before you even know what it is. I'll give you a second to decide. A second's up. Who have you chosen? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. I love your enthusiasm. Thank you for I'm volunteering. Ready to go. Team Geek Entry and Damien? You were going to huh? do it, right? Oh. Right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Or that confidence was not convincing. <laughs> but good luck to you. Sigils, Jade, who's going? 
Me. It's me. <laughs> I'm going. I want to remind everyone that five thousand dollars for your charity <laughs> is up for grabs here. Bring glory to the house. I will. Great. I will. I'm all glory. Uh, please don't lose. Thanks. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, great. And remember that this is worth ten points, Whoa. giving you an opportunity to pull ahead early. You guys could get on the board. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. And now that we have our teammates selected, we will determine the order using this. Oh. A bowl with numbers in it. So, Jade, since your team is going, select your number, hold on to it, and then pass it on to the next table. Jade, I can't yes, see that number. number. I can't. Can Use the heart of the cards. Okay, the heart of. I picked this one. Good. Oh, that's the bad one. You don't have a choice. I don't, <laughs> I don't know which one to get. Just reach in, close your eyes, hope for the best. I got it. I got it. Oh, not that one though. So the number on your bit of paper will determine the order in which you go. You may check it now. Quarter, Jade. What is your say? Uh, Amazing. No. What? It's a two, it's a two. You'll go second. The geek entry. I'm first. Oh, which means, Brian. W. That is the W from your name. And it's one. also we won. three. You're going last, but this time it's a good thing. Okay. Okay. So, the geek entry. Uh-huh. It's going to be okay. Would you like to come up and participate uh -huh. in this Yay. challenge? For our first challenge, we are going old school. Now, I mean really old school. You'll each get three attempts to see how fast you can type, no. wait for it, the alphabet. That's right, the contestant with the best time will win 10 points for their team. How are we feeling about the alphabet and typing? Are you ready? You get three no. attempts. Right, three? Three attempts. There, okay. I have none. For the fastest okay. time, this computer will record the time. Your first attempt starts now, take it away. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Now that's just sauce. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. Sauce. That's okay. That's go. Some rude sauce. Uh, ooh, we're nearly at the end of it. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> the, first, the first time for the first attempt is 11 seconds, 0. 0.77. 11.77 that's seconds. That's pretty good. So quick. All righty, let's reset and let's uh -huh. see if you can do better this time. Your time starts uh -huh. now. <laughs> No. There's absolute silence except the panic that the geek entry is having. Oh, am I not screaming out loud? Oh. I thought it was. I can't remember the alphabet. Oh, there we go. That time was three seconds worse. And I believe there was a panic attack in there as well. I believe so. 14. Breathe. We're round. Really fast. The faster you breathe, the more calm you get. The faster you breathe, the better it is. Get like... that oxygen to your fingers right away. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll round up. We'll round up, so that's 14.8 uh -huh. seconds, and uh, there are three attempts. That was four seconds, right? Okay. 14.8 seconds, uh -huh. and uh, hopefully this time is better yeah. because your time starts now. Okay. Okay. No! I feel like I'm watching an anime. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was yes. This was not. Yeah. Oh, I got this. You are no real super <laughs> So uh, unbelievably, uh, the geek entry. Her first attempt was the fastest. Wow! 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 Uh, wow. So her fastest time was 11.77 seconds. Let's see who can beat it. Quarter Jade, you are up next with number two. How are you going with the alphabet? Do you think? <laughs> Good. You know, my hands are cold. Okay. <sighs> Okay, you ready for your first attempt at the alphabet? Yeah. Dial. Your time starts now. The E. Already considerably faster. Already considerably faster. I actually. I actually. Oh, it says it. Yeah. She. Okay. What? Okay. So there was a little bit of a fumble at the W mark, but the. You. You hit the L on W. But the, the time for the first attempt was 13.2 yes! seconds. I'll round up. Alrighty, it is time uh -huh. for attempt number two. Quarter Jade, your time okay, okay, starts okay. now. G, 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 H, I. So hey, when. I actually can't uh, hear uh, over uh, the. That's pretty poor uh, form. <laughs> not gonna lie. That's I good. Can't, oh, yeah, get. Get. Oh, ah! Can't All right, so the geek entry was using a ploy <laughs> to try and say the different words of the alphabet while Quarter Jade was actually, typing, but <laughs> it didn't work, the geek entry. It didn't? Because Quarter Jade just got 9.67 seconds. Oh! Broke the 10 wow. second mark. You still have one more attempt to try and beat that again, but your time starts now. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> One of those is a letter. Is that, is that a T? T? Oh, oh, I get, oh, around the same with a 9.61 seconds. So you broke the 10 second mark. Your three Woo! attempts are done, Porter Jade. You are currently beating the geek no, entry. No, you were saying letters until I could. Uh, so we do have one more competitor. Um, Let's try and beat 10 seconds. And remember, once you fit, finish the alphabet, leave it. Brian W. Foster, your time begins. Maud, I swear to God. Now. <laughs> B, seven, twenty, three. <laughs> hey, 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 we technically don't even need to finish the other two attempts because what? Brian's first attempt was 8.33 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say, ladies, the oh, nails, uh, the nails were a little bit of a disadvantage. But they're cute. <laughs> but they're cute. I do so, spend a lot of time my nails on my cool. Alienware computer. Ooh. So let's check out our leaderboard to see who is ahead of the pack early. We've got Sigils. Porter J. You're on 10 points. Pretty good. Right? Well, pretty not good. bad, pretty not good. bad. <sighs> the Geek Entry, Damien. Hello. Also on 10 points. Why are you clapping for us? This is bad. Is it we're some gonna... points? No, we're going to do better. It could be win. five, like you said. We're winning. He's a points half full kind of guy, you know? Uh-uh, we we're going to win. Erica. Brian, you are on 35 points. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, okay, we can't okay. get cocky. You gotta All right. keep right. No, 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 no. this is no. far from over. Uh -huh. No, there's, plenty of, there's yeah. plenty of hockey left to play. Get cocky, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could win this entire next segment and uh, you know, you never know. That is true, I will say that. True, by the way. Erica, well you're a beast with the trivia. Brian, you absolutely smashed the challenge there. Well done, you are ahead for now. Team. Yeah, for now. Yeah. For now. Yeah. For now. Yeah. yeah. But right now, we are going to hear about a couple of amazing products from Alienware. I mean, that's why you're here, right? Yes. and welcome back to the Alienware Update. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and I'm here to talk all of the tech. And with me is Vivian. Vivian, it's been a while since I've gotten to see you. How have you been? I've been doing great. <laughs> so good to see you. Last time it was back in October when we celebrated our 25th anniversary and that was a lot of fun hanging out with you in the desert. Yeah, we yeah. got to do a little uh, stunt driving. We dropped an Aurora out of a plane. You know, no big deal. Uh, what is it? I know, that's been what we to? do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? We've been hard at work continuing to really push that frontier of gaming uh, hardware and all the cool new technologies. So today, I am here to tell you more about our 2022 refresh of our Alienware laptops. 
Awesome. Awesome. I am so excited to hear more about the X series, about the M series. Let's yeah. dive in. All right. Well, so let's start from the from uh, the, with the M series gaming laptops. Um, this is really what our Alienware gamers have come to love the brand. Uh, the M series is really all about performance. When we think about the design of the M, whether it's the 15 inch or the new 17 inch, we think about packing all the performance into this form factor. Now, we also recognize that, you know, for gamers like yourself, you love your expansion, right? Mm -hmm. So the ports are definitely there. We also give you the ability to upgrade your memory yeah. and also upgrade your storage. So there's, uh, for example, in the M15, you have uh, two, uh, M.2 SSD slots. Great. So it really keeps you running for as long as um, uh, you like and to keep up with your game. That's awesome. I'm a huge fan of uh, upgradability as well as, like yeah. you said, having the connectivity. I think for the content creators who might be watching, having those additional ports to maybe plug in another camera or another mic if you're streaming yeah. on the road from your M15, M17 can make all the difference in the world. So M series all about performance and I think that a lot of people watching might have some questions as to how the M series and how the X series might differ and what different qualities they offer. So yeah. what can you tell us in regards to kind of comparing the two? That's a really great question. So let me take you back a little bit about, you know, kind of take you on this journey of the development and how we came to the idea for the X series. So several years ago, we started to really take note um, from our community. Our customers were telling us that they wanted to be able to have their gaming laptops with them whenever they travel. They want to be able to have something that they can game, they can do uh, work, and they can really take to places with them. So portability was really key. So uh, really, this is innovation at its best. We started putting our heads together and think about what would it take to really advance this new premium gaming experience and hence the birth of the X series. The difference with the X series is the design philosophy is really all around perfecting the form factor. And by that I mean, um, if you just look at the X15, uh, if you just look at the X15, for example, one mm -hmm. of the first things that will strike you is just how thin this is. It's so right? thin. And, um, but thin doesn't mean that it's not powerful. Right. We're very mindful of the fact that people buy these Alienware laptops because they want to be able to game and performance is still critical. And so we packed the performance, give you all the options in terms of the screen, gives you the expansions that you need, but really more importantly, is really all in that uh, the form factor that's optimized. And here's another thing that I want to show you. Um, part of the experience of taking an X series on the go is really in the adapter as well. We didn't forget about what goes inside the bag <laughs> when you're traveling. So with this generation, uh, we're introducing the small form factor adapters that come in two oh. different uh, sizes, the 240 watts and the 330 watts. And so there you have it. Uh, when you own an X15, you know you're getting the portability, you're getting all that cutting edge innovation and the technologies uh, that will continue to keep up with your game. I love that you brought that up, Vivian. I cannot tell you when I travel uh, with my Alienware laptops, um, when I traveled previously with the M series, um, it, you know, I'm, I'm a hobbit-sized human, so I <laughs> would tend to have a very, uh, a, a very large backpack with all of my things in it, and, and the, uh, the power brick being part of that. So having this be so much more compact to leave more room in my bag is something I am extra grateful for. So thank you very much for that. And uh, you know, for folks who who don't travel a lot, you might not think of that top of mind. But if you're if you're on the go, that makes a big difference. Yeah, and you know, when we were sitting around the lab looking at what was uh, what was in the day of a gamer's life and what they have to carry it became very obvious that the power adapter was an area that we can bring more innovation. Yeah. Um, and, you know, to make these laptops so thin, it really takes a lot more than just uh, making it thin, right? It's really the innovation in the way that we cool these um, uh, hot components inside is what makes a difference. So with this generation, we introduced uh, Element 31, uh, which is a patent pending uh, thermal interface, which is a fancy way of saying it's a, it's a thermal grease, uh, but it's a patented design to help keep that CPU very cool even under uh, 
at a, a lot of uh, things that you throw at it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's apparent that if you're trying to, you know, take the same high performance components that you could find in the M series and put them in a form factor like the X series, that you would need to re-engineer a lot of that for the cooling to be optimal just to, to physically fit it inside the sleeker chassis. Um, and it really is quite a feat. So I, I think, you know, is it fair to say for people who might have had questions before about the M series versus the X series and how they compare and contrast, to say that the M series is really your traditional high-end Alienware performance and the X series is when you need to take that performance on the go. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it. And, um, you know, one of the things that we also want to highlight is that um, we really value giving our customers choice. Um, and it's not about uh, really taking one away or, or compromising, but rather we recognize that gaming has become such a big part of our society today. You know, I talk about the gaming culture that is uh, that has permeated not only the society, but is really part of uh, every generation, especially the younger generation today. So we want to recognize that fact that People are looking at gaming not just as an outlet of entertainment, it's about staying connected. So Trisha, you may remember in January, you had a chance to see our newest addition to the X-Series, the X-14. Yes, I did. It is gorgeous and tiny and just a powerhouse. And today, I have one here and I can't wait to show you the final product. Uh, there you have it. Yay! The all-new Alienware X14, really designed for people who love gaming as a lifestyle and game anywhere you want. It is so lovely, and I know that we will have Eddie join us here in the update to talk about the X14 in more detail a little bit later in the show. Um, but I have to say, I when I first thought about a 14-inch gaming laptop, I thought, oh, is that going to feel a little too small in the keyboard and the screen? And it doesn't at all. I am, I am just so impressed with this and the technological feat to get all of that in here. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, and like you said, Eddie's going to tell you more about how we make it so thin. And one of the things that I am personally very proud of is the fact that you know we now have a complete lineup of different screen sizes and different uh, designs for anybody who wants to be part of the Alienware family. I love it. A little something yeah. for everyone. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Before we head back to round two of the game, earlier last month, we sent out the new X14 to some of our ambassadors from around the globe to show you how they use it in their everyday lives. We wanted to kick it off by starting all the way down under. Town, but with absolutely no jet lag. That's cool. You know what else is cool? Well, before we get started, we should check out our leaderboard. Sigils, Quarter Jade, you're on 10 points. The Geek Entry, Damien Haas, also on 10 points. It's almost 11 points. But it's not. No, that's not, <laughs> that's that's not how that works. I'm not even close. To that. <laughs> Erica Ishii and Brian W. Foster on 35 points. Hey. We are going to humbly. Um, Our, it's we're the villains. We're the villains, so we our know our time is up. Come. The third act is going to be bad for us, I think. Boo. Well, you may know gaming, but let's see how well you know the next category, which will be esports. Oh no! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Think of the charities, everyone. Uh huh. Oh, think Yay. of the children. And let's begin. Question number one. Where is the 2022 IEM Counter-Strike GO tournament taking place? Will it be A, Poland, B, 
North Carolina, or C, Sweden? Yes, the geek entry. B. You were saying North Carolina. Uh -huh. That is incorrect. Brian? I'm going to say C, Sweden. <laughs> the Sweden is C. I see what you did there. But you're actually incorrect. <gasps> no oh, one has I knew oh, it was Poland. It's always Poland. Ah, it's, it's always Poland. Always Poland. Yeah. Actually, I am Katowice. Come on. Oh. It's okay. You guys didn't get points. Yeah, no cool. one yeah. Love it points All right. for that round. It was worth it for the pun alone. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> Question number two. Dota 2 is a mod of what other game? Is it A, Half-Life 2, B, Warcraft 3, or C, Armor? Damien. Is it Half-Life 2? No, wait. Oh, oh, oh no. God. No. Oh, what are you oh, doing? No, because no, you are absolutely wrong with that answer. I know, Sigils. I know. Warcraft 3. It is Warcraft 3. That is the answer uh, I was looking for. Yeah. You get the points with this yes. one. Uh, yes, really? I absolutely uh, need it too. You're fine. You're fine. Damien, Whoa. your overconfidence was your weakness. I know. Question number three in the category of esports. Considered the first modern esport, the following screenshot is from what game? Is it A, Castle Wolfenstein? Is it B, Doom? Or C, Quake? Sigils. C, Quake. You bet you it is. Nicely done there. And for the next two questions, I want to get some help from professional Smash Bros player, streamer, caster, an all-around great person. From Team Liquid, it is Hungrybox. Hey, guys. Hello. How are you? How's it going, Mom? Good to have you here. Step up. This is your podium. Thank now. you. Having a good time moderating? I've been loving it, but I've got to ask the question, where did the name Hungrybox come from? It's a pretty lame story. It's because I forged my mom's signature on a field trip permission slip, and I did such a bad job, it looked like a box with teeth. <laughs> And then I entered a tournament as Hungrybox. I made it out of pools, and then now that's my name. That's oh, kind of how it. player tags work. And it's so. stuck. All right, it's well, stuck. you've got two questions here. Take it away. All right, everyone. I do have two questions for you. The first one being a bit of geography. Team Liquid is an international esports organization. They're based out of Los Angeles and which of the four cities? Is it A, Berlin, B, Stockholm, C, Marseille, or D, Utrecht? Go ahead. B. That is not correct. Ah! correct. Sigils. D. And you got it. It is Utrecht in the Netherlands. I didn't know that. Very nice. We'll do one more. Let's get a little more technical, Mon. Okay. See if they really know their stuff. Okay. In Super Smash Brothers Melee, what is the main character I compete using, even in unfavorable character matchups? Is it A, Link, B, Pikachu, C, Jigglypuff, or D, Mario? All right, go ahead. I'm guessing C Jigglypuff. You're right. And you got oh, it. it yes, is there we go. I have no idea. Yay! We oh, win twice. We got twice. Did it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did it. Man, this is huge. They know their stuff. Yeah, that's good. Well done. Very nice. Thank you so much for that, though. I really appreciate you coming here and uh, challenging our contestants here. Well, good luck to all you guys, and may the biggest brain win. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for that one. Ooh, well done, Damien. Nice yeah. get. Identify this classic game. Still a popular esport in the country today that has commonly been referred to as Korea's national pastime. Is it A, Warcraft, B, Starcraft, or C, Command and Conquer? Oh, wow, Team Erica got in first. Who's answering that? B, Starcraft. It is B, Starcraft. Ooh! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank that you. means like I have wasted five hours, 500 hours into that game. <laughs> Question number seven. In 1980, Atari held the Space Invaders Tournament, the first organized video game competition. How many people were in attendance? Was it out of three answers? A, 100. B, 10,000. C, 20,000. Or to Jade. Hmm. I know that look. I know that look. This is your specialty. You know this. B. How do you do it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you are now known as Quarter Luck. Ah, yes! <laughs> that is impressive. It is, in Guys. fact, B10,000. Well done. I am impressed. I have to say, this is I'm impressive. So good have at you trivia. Thought, have you thought about getting tested for clairvoyancy or something? <laughs> this is incredible.
You should go on an Alienware-based game show. <laughs> oh, wow. I should think about it. it. Yeah, I should think it. about it. That sounds too meta for me. Sorry, Question number eight. The 2021 Tokyo Olympics were the first to recognize video games as an Olympic event. Which of these games, though, were not an event in Japan? Were not an event. Was it A, virtual rowing? B, virtual sailing? C, EA FIFA 2021. I'll give it to you, Geek Entry. She wasn't finished. B. <laughs> B, virtual sailing. Mm, we, that is B. absolutely incorrect. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, the sigils, I believe you got in. Oh, it's Porter Jade. Here we go, it's 50 50. Not. Not. Well, if they have sailing, then they gotta have rock. Yes, 50. 50. Is that your final answer? Yeah. See? Mm. I can't believe you. You got it right. Oh my God, please no. You got it right. For this next question, we actually have a special video coming in from Daiki of Team Liquid. Salve rapaziada, aqui é Daiki e a minha pergunta para vocês é: de qual jogo é a primeira line 100% feminina da Team Liquid? Question number 9. What athletic esport game does Team Liquid's first all-female team compete in? Is it A, Counter-Strike? B, Valorant, C, League of Legends, or D, Rainbow Six Siege. Porter Jade, you have quite the streak. CS, A. A, sorry. CS, A. 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 You're wrong. <gasps> that was the first time you guessed and didn't get it, but Team Erica Bryan. Uh, I would like to, I would like to buy a, a B. You will win with that B. Wow! That. I know my women's esports, okay? It was the dudes that I don't know about. And for our last question here with the multiple choice answers, we have another special guest on video for this next question. Take it away, Nitro. Hey everyone, which rapper gave us a shout out during our run at ESO One New York in 2016? Question number 10. Which rapper gave our CSGO team a shout out? during ESL One New York in 2016? Was it A, Snoop Dogg, B, Ice-T, C, Jay-Z, or D, 50 Cent? Oh, go the geek entry. <laughs> A? That is incorrect, it is not Snoop Dogg. I Moving over to Team Erica and Brian. 50 Cent. You can keep the change, that is wrong. I was looking for iced tea. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, iced tea. tea. Wow. It's okay. yeah. Yeah, I, think, I think I remember that. Our guesses are good, minus some. Don't get too comfortable, everyone, because I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that you're about to have a chance to win some more points. Yay. Oh. The bad news, though, is that it will require precision training and patience, which, let's be honest, you guys don't really have, and you haven't displayed it at all. Thank you, man. Glad purple. to be here. Do your stretching, we'll get to it. <laughs> what is this? For this next challenge, whoever didn't go last time will be going this time, representing your team for the 10 points, hopefully. We're going to be testing your training. So I think it's only fair that the leaders should be going first. Erica, come on down. You got this. Yay! Team Foster Cup. All right, thanks, guys. Oh. So, what, so we are going to be testing your fool. aiming skills. It's bad. This, They're bad. It's just a Got fun this. little game here with Aim Trainer on this amazing PC setup. The most accurate person with the highest points will win. So a tile will pop up. You just got to click on it. Doesn't sound that hard. Just wait. Oh, Erica, got this. shoot to start. And I, I, may I ask a question before we start? Is that all right? You said the, the most accurate person with the highest points. Which one takes priority? The highest points will. And the accuracy will be the deal breaker. Thank you. Whoa. OK. You got this. Remember the face of your father. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Shoot. Yes. Yeah, also hit the boxes, too. There you go. This is fantastic. Even your dreams, Erica. This is good. Yeah, what follow is your dreams. What sound you're making? <laughs> it's working. Music. Someone's tea is ready. <laughs> yeah, someone's tea is ready. A dog two miles away is like, what's up? She's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> I 
can't even hear it anymore. She's gone to like a register. And that's your time. All right. Over. <laughs> All right, the scores are in. You did actually really well. Your score was 54, but your accuracy was 90%. That's well done. an A minus. That's it. Uh, well done. All right. Uh, okay. Great. So next up, Sitchells. Wait, did you say 19 or 90? 90%. 90%. 9-0. Nine yes. All right. You liar. You liar. Sigils. All right. You, you need 19. to beat that score. Okay. You need to beat that accuracy. Eight, Play it bro. and then shoot to start. You got this. Whew. Shoot those tiles. Okay. His hands look really sweaty. <laughs> Mother spaghetti. <laughs> F. Great. Shoot to start. Go. Boy, I hope that mouse still works when it's your 30 turn. seconds is on. Oh, cool. no, no. Native water. Now, now this is accuracy. Oh, it's so bad. This is accuracy. So short. Uh, but you said if I have the highest score, yeah, accuracy. accuracy doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Yes, wow. Wow. Okay. Do you even game, bro? No, it's my first time. Am I doing good? No, oh, wow. yeah, I think so. No, I'm scared. Trouble, yeah. You're giving that ice wall so a run for its money. You can shoot those boxes too. If you no, want. no, no, shoot outside. Oh, so outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot move if you don't the hit the first shot. If you shoot right next you to gotta it, you gotta be accurate. Tuck together. You gotta be accurate. Ooh. Magnum dive. Wow, you wow. went a little bit hand there. You were prioritizing score over accuracy. <gasps> See what you did, but it started punishing you as well. Still, your points are 83. 83. Oops. How many Ooh. points did she have? 90. Like no. 40. 52. 52. He got 83. What was his accuracy? It's Although he tried a different technique and his accuracy was not great with 65.4%. But he was just trying hey, to get the points. Hey, that's a D. Don't look That's a D. That's how I got through high school. How I got through life. So Erica, er Erica was slow and steady wins the race. purpose because then you just hit more of them. Uh, so yeah. The point is to shoot things. So or Damien. just have chronically sweaty exactly. palms. Yeah, yeah. You're up, Damien. Hey, listen, I told you about that in confidence. Let's I see how you go. <laughs> just, just happy to be here, Maud. If you go, do Damien. do yeah. Yeah. technique, though, Let's go, Damien, so if you don't gamer. hit it, then the tile will move on you. Got it. Oh, I thought it moved on me when I did hit it. Got it. But this, ought to, this ought to be hilarious. Oh my God, no. stop. You're getting to my people's head. I'm, no, no, he couldn't even hear me. Look exactly, he's ignoring you. He's ready to go. Your time starts now. All right, you got this. No. Clicky, clicky. Uh, you got it. I'm not a clicky boy. No, I'm usually clicky. Yeah, oh, man. Got this. Nice. Yeah, do, you, do you play you games so or do you just tell uh, me? Not really. Good, you're doing great. This isn't like Animal Crossing at all. <laughs> no, not even close. Oh, you're trying to catch a spider. You're trying to catch a spider. Oh, those darn tarantulas. Oh, uh -oh. Tarantulas. Do they have this backstage at the Laugh Factory? I work front of house, thank you. Uh -oh. Oh crap. Oh no, it's a reload. reload. What, you're doing? <gasps> I will say that was the most intense last few seconds. He was stuck on 80 points and had to reload with two seconds to go, but managed to get 87 points with an 86% accuracy. Oh! Damien, you are the winner of hey! this challenge. I'm well done. Happy, just happy to be here, Mon. Ben, you did it. You guys are on the board now. Thank you. That was An extra 10 points to your team there. Amazing stuff, everyone. Whew. That got my heart racing. So let's check in with that leaderboard. Even though you got a bunch of points just then, Damien, the geek entry, you're on 25. Well done. Better than 10. Which means that sitting on 35, we got sigils and quarter jade. Well done. And with 45, it is Erica and Brian still maintaining your lead. Yeah, the gap is closing. Action up quickly. I'm, I'm nervous. Find the gap. I'm nervous. <laughs> hey, speaking of esports, if you weren't already aware, we've got a great partnership with PUBG. Here is our latest highlight reel from that partnership. Setting sun, but I'll never run. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. And kill till I die.
Hey guys, welcome to the studio tour of PUBG Studios in Santa Monica, or as I like to call it, PUBG Cribs. This is the casting room. We got the desk where the casters are putting in work. Looks like Krim just got a Discord meeting with all the players. You know what the most important room is? It's the room where the magic happens. Over here, the Observer Room. Brought to you by Alienware. This is the new PUBG studio here in Santa Monica. We're glad to be here. We're glad to show it to you. And I can't wait to get back to the action. All right, everyone, it is time once again to talk some tech here at the Alienware Update. And Eddie, it's so good to see you again. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I'm having a great time. Hey, everybody. Hi. Thank you guys for being here. We're so happy you guys made it. And I'm so excited to talk to you about the new awesome products that we have. Yes, absolutely. So I know that we teased a little earlier, you were going to be the one to run us through the X14. So tell me the story. Let's, let's do it. Let's jump in and do a deep dive on the X14. Sure. So this is the Alienware X14. It is the world's thinnest 14 inch gaming laptop. Oh my God, I feel so good to say. Uh, the world's say thinnest world's one. thinnest. Yeah, definitely. And you know, we accomplished that by some serious engineering processes, some serious architecture decisions mm -hmm. that um, our advanced teams put into play. We even have some patent pending technologies in here. Um, and the one that you know is responsible for this thinness mm -hmm. in particular um, is the hinge on this notebook. So okay. if you look at it, it actually has a dual torque element that allows it to move diagonally across a shaft and Without that motion, without that actual design, this notebook would either be thicker or less powerful. Huh. So that's really important, right? You want a powerful notebook. Yep. Um, and if you're someone that's looking for a smaller screen, someone that wants to game on the road for real, right? Yeah. Because people say, you know, on the go gaming all the time. I mean, I said on the go gaming when it was like a machine I would right. have to strap to yeah. my back and take over a friend's house. So, right. So there's serious intention behind the design of this notebook. Right. And um, it's all for, you know, gamers that want something smaller to take with them. Maybe people who really aren't gamers, but are curious about gaming. Um, or maybe you're a student that doesn't have a lot of real estate. You can't have a giant desktop and a giant monitor. So the X14 is perfect for that. That's all very important. And I also just want to shout out to the Alienware team for, um, I mean, exploding an X14 here for us to take a look at all of the little bits and bobbles. So I appreciate that and thank yep. you. My buddy Mike and Austin did this for us. So, you know, awesome job, man. Shout out. For sure. Uh, <laughs> and hey, you know, accomplishing this was no minor feat. I mean, we had to make sure that gamers were going to have enough battery life when they weren't gaming. And to do that, we actually accomplished building the largest watt hour battery on a 14 inch notebook. Um, and so, you know, we're really proud about that because you're going to be able to get up to 11 hours of HD video playback with this system. Awesome. So we're really proud about the size of this battery. We knew that gamers were going to be taking this on the road and when they're not gaming, they just want to surf the web. They want to talk to their friends. They want to, you know, pay their bills or whatever. You're going to need to have a high watt hour capacity. Yeah. So, you know, we've accomplished having the world's highest watt hour capacity battery on a 14 inch gaming laptop. Awesome. And can it, the estimate on about how long that'll run you on a full charge? We can get up to 11 hours of HD video playback. Nice. Sweet. That is super sweet. And of course, uh, I guess, you know, one of the benefits of, you know, having something that this small and this portable is if you can take it around all day for you. Uh, totally. Talk to me a little bit about cooling since we're talking so oh, much performance sure. in such a tiny package. So we're super stoked about that. Um, over here, we're showing off uh, the latest design of our cryotech technology. Um, this is using multiple heat pipes. And actually, if you take a look at the fans, the fins in here are incredibly thin. They move air through the system and configurations that use the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 mm -hmm. will even have our Element 31 thermal interface material, which we which we unveiled last June right. on its you know bigger cousins, the X15 and the X17. Right on. So it takes a lot of really special technologies to keep this thing cool, keep it running, and let it last while you're on the road. Right? Very cool. So um, all in all, it's uh, incredibly powerful. We're getting um, up to 75 watts 
of maximum graphics power with that 3060. Um, and you can choose from 12th gen Intel Core i processors. So plenty of performance, DDR5 memory. Um, and then also something that's really cool is that if you look at the system on the back, sure, um, you'll see that there's no like barrel for the standard power adapter. That's because mm -hmm. The X14 is the first laptop that charges using Type-C ports exclusively. All right, so very cool. So how cool is that? If you leave the house and you forgot your power adapter, you could always get somebody's you know, Type-C cord and, and charge it. It's not gonna be as fast charging as sure. the actual adapter, but you have an option. It's not like you're you know, uh, in trouble. So um, that's a really cool advantage of, of this architecture as well. I love it. And thank you so much for walking us through all the kind of new features and stuff folks can expect from the X14. Now, I know the story with the X14 is like, hey, you need to toss it in a bag yeah. and let's go somewhere. And I see yep. that we actually we have a bag yeah, right this is, here. This is one of our new bags. <laughs> um, and it's, it's actually, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, it's constructed with incredible materials. We got some really cool patches from our friends outside. So that's really neat too. <laughs> um, but check it out, right? With the X14, you could actually have tons of room left over when you not only have there's so much room an in x14 there. in there but okay. you, know, you could fit you that. got your x14 got our new tri-mode headset yes you do um the mouse and, uh -huh. and look at this there's like so much room it's like a black hole in there pretty much there's so much room in there oh, look how tiny this adapter. is excuse me have we talked about That's how right. tiny this is yeah Sure, it's our latest small form factor, 130 watt power adapter. So, oh my goodness, it's tiny. Um, it's going to occupy very little space in your bag. So, if you really are someone that travels, if you're gaming curious, or if you're just a gamer that wants an option because you are not at home too often, the X14 with our peripherals, with our new bag, is going to be an awesome, kick-ass solution for getting your game on the road, so. As a generally tiny person, I just love how compact all of this is. And I mean, when you open that bag, I feel like you could have fit five more of the setup in there and still been totally fine. Totally. We gotta try that maybe next time. <laughs> how many how many X14s can you fit in how the bag? How many X14 full hmm. ecosystems can you yeah. fit in that bag? I like that challenge. My, my guess we is gotta on bring that back. five. I don't know what the prize is other than imaginary sure. internet points, but yeah. that could be it. Um, but it's all thanks to the X14. Yeah, yeah. The X14 is the latest member of the X-Series laptops. We're super stoked about it. Um, it's available in that lunar light color that so many of us love. Um, and it also carries several really cool uh, surfaces that are made with magnesium alloy. There's steel, there's aluminum, there's copper, um, and there's even a special application to some of these parts that have like a really cool futuristic metal feel, and that's because of a new process that we're making. Neat. Every bit of this laptop has some really well thought engineering into it. So it's not just a thin laptop, it's an incredible marvel from our latest, you know, visionaries in the Alienware team. Um, and there's several patent pending technologies. So check it out. Um, we're really excited. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to the entire Alienware team on the world's thinnest laptop, world's thinnest gaming laptop, the X14. Yep. And speaking of the X14, let's see where the X14 travel vlog takes us next. That was awesome. It's actually super cool to see how you can use the X14 no matter where you are. <laughs> Stay tuned for your chance to win your very own X14. Now our next category is going to be gaming culture. Gaming culture. I thought 2022 is just called culture, right? Mm. Gaming's technically a part of it these days. Yeah. Yeah. We're we are proud now. people. <laughs> <laughs> there are dozens of us. I feel so Dozens! <laughs> <laughs> Frage Nummer 1. Welche Modemarke hat kürzlich digitale Kleidung in limitierter Auflage in Roblox herausgebracht? H&M, Gucci oder The Gap? Question is, what fashion brand recently released limited edition digital apparel inside Roblox? Was it A, H&M, B, Gucci or C, The Gap? Sigils. B. Gucci, you'd be right. Wow. Nicely done. 
Hey, question number two. What is the name of Twitch's parent company? Is it A, Google, B, Yahoo, or C, Amazon? I get the sigils. Uh, Amazon. <laughs> you are correct. Well done. Brian, what happened there was that you actually tried to beep in before I finished I did not. I did not. I slipped. Mm. <laughs> what is the name? The name most associated with this screenshot. Is it A, Leroy Jenkins? Is it B, Tim the Tatman? Or C, Dr. Disrame? Yes, it just. Ow! Oh! Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Well done, Sigil, for that one. For this next question, we're actually going to pass it over to our friends in the UK. This is Ryan Central of Hitscan. All right, here's the next question. Which popular game from 2020 helped coin the term sus? Was it A, Animal Crossing, B, Among Us, or C, Call of Duty Warzone? The geek entry, you actually came through with the goods there. Among Us. It sure was. <laughs> and if you didn't know that, you hey. team. You did it. Heck yeah. <laughs> I get points. Question number five in gaming culture. What is the phrase most commonly associated with this game? Is it A, all your base belong to us? B, gamers be like? Or C, do a barrel roll? Okay, yes, team Brian slash Erica. Do a barrel roll. That is correct. That's right, that's right. Oh, oh man. Alrighty. In what movie did this Alienware cameo happen? Was it A, free guy? B, Ready Player One, or C, Pixels. Yes, the geek entry. A. Free Guy is correct. Hey, well done. Nicely done there. Tell you what, I think I need a little bit of a break. But uh, let me pass it on to MVM Design from China for this next question. The question is, which of the following games was not turned into a feature-length movie? Was it A, Tomb Raider, B, Overwatch, or C, Super Mario Brothers? Sigils in there. Overwatch. You are correct. Overwatch has not yet been turned into a movie, but if you need a mercy, Sorry. heroes never die. Just saying. Did you jump the gun? <laughs> no. Okay. What? Honor system? Honor system. Okay. Sorry, Mike. Do you see to take it outside? No. Can we? Do we get points? If there's a fight? Yeah, do we get like, oh. Absolutely not. Okay, I understand. I understand. With the Alienware X14, it'd be really easy to take this outside. <laughs> or anywhere you go. Ooh. Oh, wow. That the is moon. We should get a point. Can, yeah, can we get points for this? I want to give you points for this. <laughs> Question number eight. What pop star can be seen here performing a concert inside Fortnite? Is it A, Dua Lipa, B, Billie Eilish, or C, Ariana Grande. Oh yes, Erica and Brian. I Ariana. would like to say C, the queen, Ariana Grande. Yes, you're correct. I know. Well done. I know. I'm all about gaming oh. culture, as you know. Question number nine. Again, referring to the monitor. In the picture below, an Alienware laptop is making an appearance in what beloved movie franchise? Is this A, The Matrix, B, Die Hard, C, Fast and Furious? Team Erica. The Matrix. Sure is. Yes! Yes! Points. I know that color grading oh, yeah. and Oh, yeah. Pairs. Yeah, we could tell yes. by the palette. <laughs> or the... Uh-huh. Next yes. question. Wow. We're... Well, actually, for the last question in this category, we're uh -huh. going to pass it on to Solega-san. Welches Spiel wurde bei den Game Awards 2021 uh, zum Spiel des Jahres gekürt? Cyberpunk 2077? Deathloop? Oder It Takes Two? So question number 10, what game was named Game of the Year at the 2021 Game Awards show held on December 3 in 2021? Was it A, Cyberpunk 2077? Was it B, Deathloop? Or C, It Takes Two? The Geek Entry, you got that one. Oh, I didn't say I knew, I just knew what he was oh, saying. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, was it, oh, I think it was Cyberpunk. Uh, I, saw the Cyberpunk. Geek, uh, I saw the Geek Entry hit the buzzer. Oh, uh, sorry. What's your answer? Cyberpunk, obviously. That's not okay. Erica and Brian, you are taking that question because that was it takes two. It's takes two, and it took two of you to what? answer that oh, question yes. correctly. Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Guys, where, where, where were you? The Game Awards last year. The Game Awards. You're the right. world stopped for two years, Mod. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
We've got another challenge for all the teams, so I hope you're ready. Now, we've been known to be a little twisted around here, and I think that this next competition isn't going to help us shake that reputation. Because that's right, it is time for the dreaded untangling challenge. Here's how it works. Each team will be given a bundle of device cords to untangle. You are looking for the power cords to each product being shown here on the table in front of you. For the 34 inch monitor, you will need the D power cord. For the headset, the aux cable, 3.5 millimeter. And for the X14 laptop, you will need the USB-C. Once all the cords are untangled, teams will rush to plug in all the cords into the correct device ports. The first team to get all three plugged in will win the points. In the case where multiple teams are running up to plug in the cords to the device ports, the team with the most cords plugged in will be announced the winner. Are the teams ready? I'm yes. ready. Just happy who's, to be here, Mark. Who's good at plugs and cords? Me. I make a mess all the time. Cable management. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a quiet uh -huh. zen activity rather oh. than... Yeah. This is actually cable management, yeah, but <laughs> Get it out this of the is way. cable I don't family. have my little Velcro ties. I don't, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I don't have my boxes. This isn't cable management. This is cable family court. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what my third drawer looks like. Yeah, mm. exactly. You're doing, you're doing good work here. It is a team effort, and your time begins Wait, now. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some okay, people okay, doing yeah. the ripping. I'm just gonna grab that. I'm a delicate out. Others are going to. Yeah, no, I'm yep, yep, yep. No, no, I'm gonna see the. It's like they are starting with yep, a particular core first. Damn, you're gonna punch me in the face. We're just, we're just collaborating here. Okay. Stop collaborating and listen. I don't know where this goes. Any mom's spaghetti? I got the thick one. It looks like Eric is going with the more. I lost it. I lost it. Good. But it's worth it. It's all good. One down. Spicy this is not a time to be delicate. Spicy. 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 Struggling to get their first quarter. No. But we're doing all three at we're once. Struggling. We're doing oh, we're doing a triple team? sided attack. Because watch this. Because watch this. Yeah, watch it. Watch. We're gonna win. Final attack is between Erica Brian's team. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I got one. Jade there might be I'm more. almost done with the USB-C. Okay. So close. I can't see what it's Now they need all three cores oh, before they run up. This, this oh, run up for three. Go, 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 no, Erica, read your hand. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, put the third one in. The third one in. Oh, I see. All right. So, remove her cord. Yeah, I'll pull mine in. Put the third one in. Well, move the cord. majority wins. She's got one. She's got two. Could you please remove the third one so she could win this competition? I disagree, Rep. Well, it's not like you. Erica's got it. Well, I didn't hear the majority. Oh, that was kind of everything. Yeah. Just, it was already right stated yeah. in the rules. Twice. I'll just yeah, put but this back. There we go. There's still she got right. two. Let's go. Woo! We got the cord. Well done for taking Come out on. that challenge. We did fine. Uh, oh, now, that was really, really close. No, what do you think happened over right here? So we, we got all three of the cords by the end of it. Um, that's good. There were a couple situations where like uh, the USB-C, I don't know if it was like this for y'all, probably was, uh, was wrapped around like a few times in a thing, not just like in and out. There'd be like a, a line, 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 line. So you'd have to take the time to It's almost fully. like this is a competition. And we lost, yeah. but. I think we won in coming in third. We it was a bonding experience. And that's important mm -hmm. here. Hey, uh, you did really well getting the cords and you started here and worked your way down. Erica, what happened with the headphones? Um, it's, I miss it because there's the USB-C on that side too and that tripped me up. That was supposed to. I went to. that side and then I, oh. yeah. it's on the, but it's on the other side. Well, all things considered, well done everyone. I mean, that had to be harder than it looked, right? And it looked pretty tough. It was, a, it was a mess. I think we kind of killed it. But how did this round affect the scores? Well, 
still in last place. The Geek Entry, Damien oh. Haas. Still hey. in last place. 35. Okay. Why? Why are you surprised by that? We didn't win. 35 points. I'm 35 is a great number. Five. Yep. Thank you. And I would announce second place next, except there's a tie. <gasps> no, Between it's not. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Between who? <laughs> oh Between who? Oh my god. You don't deserve the points. <laughs> Erica, Brian, Sigils, Quarter Jade, you are all on 65 points. Congratulations. Wow. You finally got on my level. 65. Retire. A worthy opponent. Yeah. <laughs> and we are also yeah, just, here. You guys are going down. Nah, I, I doubt like that. I, I, hold me back. All right, all right, okay, okay. Next up, let's take a look at the latest and greatest in Alienware monitors and peripherals. Stay tuned for more details on how you could win an Alienware X14. Yeah, you. Welcome back everyone. I am ex so excited to talk about this next series of products and doing that with me here today is Lisa. Lisa, welcome to the Alienware Update. Hi Trisha, how are you? I'm so good and I'm so glad that you are here today to walk us through Thank all you. of this. So please share with us what's new from Alienware in the peripherals Thank department. Thank you so much. I know that um, you've probably seen some of these products before, mm -hmm. uh, but we are very excited to introduce some of our brand new technologies. Um, first, we have the uh, Alienware 34 curved QD OLED monitor. It's the world's first <laughs> QD OLED gaming monitor and we're very excited about it. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is that it's, it's rather large, it's 34 inches. Mm -hmm. um, diagonally, it is a curved monitor. Uh, the QD technology basically means that uh, your colors are going to be extra vibrant, the blacks are going to be really nice and dark, um, you're going to have incredible action scenes, no uh, blurring or distorting or any kind of glitching or anything like that. Um, and we are the first ones to bring this technology to the market and we're very excited about this. It's awesome and, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Quantum Dot Tech is tech that we have maybe seen in our home theater systems before, yes. but never really in a dedicated gaming monitor. Yes, and actually this technology is a little bit different. So what it does is it takes the blue light um, and passes it through a Quantum Dot um, sheet, for lack of a better term, and it, that blue light is broken down into primary colors and it gives it more luminance and um, vibrance so the colors just appear brighter um, and more true to life. So what we're going for here is a true to life gaming experience um, at your setup. So you've got your system that does this fantastic job of rendering these beautiful games for you. Um, and then to complete the experience, we have this monitor in front of your face for a wonderful front of screen experience. It is, and I have to ask Lisa, do you personally game with an ultra wide? I don't. I am going to. Oh, lucky, very lucky. Yes. Not, and not everyone has the ability to, but I bring it up because I feel like there's some people who think that, oh, maybe 
There's not too many games that can be played in ultra wide or optimized for ultra wide. I'm not really sure what it will add. I will tell you as someone who games on an ultra wide monitor, it is beautiful. Like you can see yes. how nice God of War looks displayed right here. Um, yes. And of course you need a hefty system to be able to power this type of yes, display. Um, but when you get there and the magic is just right, I mean, anything from like a God of War to a Stardew Valley, you're gonna have a really nice <laughs> experience on. Yes. Now, of course, for most people, if you're a content creator, when you stream, you'll have to put it in 16 by nine. But when you're, when I'm gaming for my me time, mm -hmm. this is where it's at. And it really is a high-end experience. Yes, and that curve means that you are in the center of the action at, at all times, right? So your field of vision is the same from edge to edge as it is in the center. Um, so it really envelops you in that view and it's a really beautiful system. Awesome, and I know uh, just from kind of sneaking around and peeking around the back mm -hmm. uh, that you still have the beautiful Alienware FX lighting on the back of this mm -hmm. monitor as yes. well. Um, and I want to ask, is it is it Visa mountable? It is actually. This monitor, um, when we were looking at what the design uh, was going to be, we wanted it to still scream that it's an Alienware monitor. So it does carry through that iconic Alienware look. It is super thin on the sides. And then when you get to the back, we've actually moved the lighting from the stand on the back to the uh, ring that the stand actually holds into. Um, and that is where your visa mount goes. So when you take this stand off, you retain that RGB lighting that can be controlled in Alien Effects through Alienware Command Center. You just made me so yes. happy, thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and then you can mount this wherever you need it to be. If it's on a stand, on the wall, you still get all that beautiful ambient lighting. Um, and then we have the ability to, uh, through Alien Effects and Alienware Command Center, um, to do some animations with the lighting back there. So if you want it to circle rainbows, if you want it to cool. um, transition through multiple colors, it can absolutely do that and gives your whole area where you game a totally different look and feel. I love that. Mm -hmm. I just recently mounted my 34 inch ultra wide, not this model unfortunately yet because we haven't gotten hands on this one yet, but uh, I had to like, do it was like a very sad experience. I had to say goodbye to my RGB uh, when I when I mounted it. So with this monitor, you wouldn't have to do that. Nope. I see that with the stand that it comes with, we've got some cable management. That's fantastic. What yes. are we looking at as far as connectivity? Uh, for connectivity, um, for viewing, you have your uh, DisplayPort connections. You have HDMI connection. Um, there's also some ports for uh, connecting USB devices if you want to be able to charge something or just connect a peripheral to that. Um, so this monitor can sit on your desk and do more than just gaming. You can watch your entertainment, you can watch movies, um, you can surf the internet, you can play whatever you want to. This monitor can do it all. So we're allowed to say this is the world's first QD OLED gaming monitor. Yes, yes it is. And we're actually very proud that it's already an award-winning monitor. That is awesome. All right, Lisa, what else do you have to show us here today? Uh, also, um, we have with us our uh, brand new Alienware uh, Tri-Mode Wireless Gaming Headset. So this headset has been redesigned also in our iconic Alienware look and feel. Um, people who may have our existing wireless headset have noticed, you know, there's kind of a change. Even our wired headsets um, that are in the Alienware design have a, a slightly different look to this. So we've redesigned it to be a little bit slimmer. Um, absolutely. Um, it's slimmer, it's comfortable. The, uh, <laughs> the hinge has been redesigned to allow you to um, wear it without a lot of extra space around your head. The um, hinges allow the cups to move back and forth, up and down a little bit mm -hmm. for comfort. Um, the headband is fully padded. We have leatherette cups and memory foam ear cups. Um, in addition, and this is this, is, this is great, it is. It comes in two colors, so we, we have the lunar light and we have the dark side of the moon version as well. Cool. Um, so it's, it's fantastic, but when we talk about tri-mode connectivity, it means that you can actually utilize this not only with your PC, like right now we are connected via um, the wireless dongle here. Yes, exactly. Um, but you can also take this with you, so when you're finished gaming, you can detach the detachable boom microphone. Mm -hmm. You can put this on and wear this around your house. You can go out, you can connect it to either a laptop or your mobile device like your phone via Bluetooth. Awesome. And so you can conduct calls, you can listen to music, you can watch movies or whatever, um, whatever you may want to do with it. The microphone is, there's an internal microphone so you can still talk to people. I love having that option. So mm -hmm. if you're taking a call and you don't want the full on gamer aesthetic, if you're out on the go, mm -hmm. you have that internal microphone as well. That's very Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. And no matter what you're doing, if you're playing a game or you're 
watching videos, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, you have noise canceling, so there's active noise canceling that helps to eliminate the sounds that are around you. Mm -hmm. And the boom mic actually has um, an AI driven noise canceling feature as well. So it can detect what's happening around you and eliminate those sounds from your conversations. So people can't hear the wind or your dishwasher in the background or whatever you're doing. Right on. So you said that it's why it's got wireless connectivity, mm -hmm. Bluetooth connectivity, and I assume the third is wired. The third is wired via a 3.5 millimeter uh, cable. And what that allows you to do, you can connect it to your, la your desktop, your laptop, whatever you want. You can also connect it to your controller for your uh, console systems, and nice. that way you, you have this one headset to do all of your things. That's awesome, and I have to say, having gotten the chance to try this on, not just today, but on other occasions as well, um, it's so comfortable, and I like how it, it kind of, it almost feels like it balances the weight a little bit farther back mm -hmm. than other gaming headsets on the market. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, yes. It actually doesn't feel like it's squeezing your head. Right. And the way that these hinges are made, um, it pulls everything back and so you have uh, you have a little bit better weight distribution mm -hmm. um, and you still get a really good clamp on your head so it's not like it's hurting you. Right. But if you move your head, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. That's awesome. I'm someone that's really sensitive to that because I wear glasses. Mm -hmm. um, and for anyone who either wears glasses for vision or maybe you wear blue light glasses, or whatnot, you know, having that for long gaming sessions, depending on the headset feel, can sometimes not be the most comfortable. But I did not notice that with this headset, so I, I appreciate that design. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Absolutely, and keeping with the mobility, um, they are comfortable and lightweight. But we also have the ability to do uh, touch controls here mm -hmm. on the right ear cup. So cool. if you want to um, increase your volume, which it just did, <laughs> and increase your volume, you can lower your volume. You can change tracks if you're listening to music. Um, so that makes it nice and easy. Uh, you can actually turn off the alien effects lighting if you want to. Again, controlled by Alienware Command Center. Mm -hmm. So you can, while you're on your gaming on your Alienware system, um, you can have it customized to whatever colors you like, but if you're gonna be on the go and you don't want the lights on, um, you can absolutely turn them off from the headset. You don't have to log into your computer to do that. Okay, perfect. Well, I, I love that. I also like how they have almost more of like an audio headset inspired look and feel, mm -hmm. which is very unique in the gaming space. Yep, absolutely. Again, one pair of headsets to do everything. <laughs> you must be a Lord of the Rings fan, and I appreciate I know, that. one to rule them all. <laughs> Awesome, and uh, I also see creeping in here yes. a brand new mouse. Can yes. you tell us about that? Welcome to the Alienware Tri-Mode Wireless Gaming Mouse. Um, it is the 720M. This mouse is currently connected by a cord, okay. but is very easy to disconnect, and we can talk about the fact that this is very easy to take with you on the go. Um, it's lightweight, it's available in the lunar light and the dark side of the moon colors, um, and we are actually really excited about the innovations that we have in this mouse. So one of the things is we have a patent pending um, magnetic snap-on charging feature. Woo! So it's that easy. Mm -hmm. You can charge this for five minutes and get up to 20 hours of gameplay on it, which is incredible. And when you're ready to take it with you, all you have to do is disconnect it and take it with you. If you would like to use it wired, you can just detach this dongle. Okay. And then plug this in. Awesome. Oops, take this off, sorry. Plug this in and you have a wired experience. But with the technology today, you actually don't need to worry about any kind of lag. This mouse is made to be wireless and still play. I love that, and I, I, that is something that I think a lot of gamers are a little sensitive to. Mm -hmm. What do you mean gaming on a wireless mouse? Um, but really, the, it, it has come, the technology has come such a long way. You're absolutely correct. Yes. So again, with Tri-Mode, here we're looking at the wireless connectivity, the Bluetooth connectivity, as yes. well as the wired option for those that prefer it. Yes, so all of these Peripherals are meant to be um, very easily paired with your X14, which is a beautiful system. You can put your X14 in your bag, take your headset and your mouse, throw them in your bag, and off you go. Um, so they're very easy to take with you. They have long battery life, um, so you can actually get uh, a long battery life with both the mouse, a mouse and the headset, and they are both fast charging. So you can charge this for five minutes and get up to 20 hours of gameplay, which is incredible. Awesome, and I, I think I heard in the mouse too that there's some extra technology uh, in the click, can you yes, tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Also, a patent pending technology for us is the magnetic spring back clicking. So these key plates, um, the left and right key plates, actually have a magnet inside that repels. So when you press down, and it actually pops back up very quickly. <laughs> he's got, Kratos um, is going for it. I know. He's really he's 
<laughs> ready to beat that pull up. Um, so both the left and right key plates have that. It's milliseconds, but when you're in the middle of a battle, if you're playing a first person shooter, if you're playing a role playing game, um, those milliseconds count. Yeah, when you're, when you're competitive, absolutely milliseconds mm -hmm. count. Um, and then also I noticed thumb buttons on both sides of this mouse. Uh, it, absolutely. This is great for those who are left-handed as well, yes? Absolutely, so you can see uh, the design is meant to be comfortable and also meant to be ambidextrous. So if you are right-handed, left-handed, you have buttons on either side of the mouse you can utilize. If you want to use them all, you are more than welcome to. Um, and we have a, a competition-ready performance on this, so it's 26,000 DPI, um, and it is a completely beautiful, fast-moving mouse. Lisa, thank you so much for running us through all this awesome new Alienware tech. And now, let's check out our next ambassador in Germany. Started. Since we are about halfway through the show, let's check out our leaderboard. In third place, Damien, the Geek Entry. 35 points. Consistency is key. Yep. Yay! And then Ball's equal ready. tie for first, we have Sigils, Quarter Jade. The same amount of points as Erica Ishii and Brian W. Foster. Oh. Yay! 65 oh. points. Congrats. Isn't the air nice up here at the top? <laughs> just remember though, it's still anyone's game. If you like for first, can we just say that we're in second? Just for like... Yeah. It's oh, true. That's nice. You are second. Yes! It's still last. <laughs> now, that's back to business. We are in the fourth round and things are starting to get pretty intense. The category for this one is Alienware History. Piece of key. Sounds interesting to me. Let's get started. Question number one. <clears throat> Where were the new designs of the Alienware M15X and M17X introduced? Was it A, the Tokyo Game Show in 2009? Was it B, E3 2011? Or was it C, CES of 2012? Oh, Team Erica. C, CES. That is incorrect. <gasps> yes, Quarter Jade. The letter A. You are correct. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You are correct. <laughs> it was A, the Tokyo Game Show in 2009. Yeah. When you were four. Question number two. What is significant about this computer released by Alienware in 2002? Was it A, it featured a touchscreen display? B, it had a floppy disk drive in the back? Or C, it was the company's first laptop? B. That is incorrect. The geek entry. See, it was the company. Yay! 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 Congratulations. Let's hear from Ryan Central on this next question. Next question. On what TV show did Alienware founders base the name of the company? Was it A, X Files, B, Unsolved Mysteries, or C, Battlestar Galactica? Sid, you were first with that one. C, Battlestar Galactica. I wish it was, but frack this, it was not. Damien? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say A, X-Files. You're exactly right with that hey! one! Well done! <laughs> the aliens are here. Question number four. In what year was Alienware founded? Now remember, 
everyone from Alienware is here. And option number A, was it 1996, B, 1997, or C, the year 2000? Geek entry. C. That is incorrect. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, quarter jade. A. It was A. Oh, Let's go. Both 1996, congratulations. 25th anniversary just happened. Uh, Erica, Brian, can we just test your buzzer? It is working. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are just tuning in, it turns out by uh, round number four, things start getting nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. At the time of its release in 2011, this Alienware PC was the biggest gaming laptop ever made. How big was the screen? Was it A, 18.4 inches? Was it B, 19.7 inches? Or C, 20.2 inches? Yes, the geek entry. B. It was not in fact B. Yes, the quarter jade. <laughs> it was 18.4 <laughs> inches, which is 46.74 centimeters. Congratulations. Question number six. Where are the Alienware headquarters located? Is it A, San Francisco in California? Is it B, Miami, Florida? Or C, Round Rock, Texas, the geek entry? Uh, C. It is not incorrect. Oh. Who's no oh, yes, Brian. <laughs> it's B. It is B. <laughs> Miami, Florida, you got a point. Yay, we're on the board again. Question number seven. When Area 51 was reintroduced in 2014, what shape did it come in? Was it A, a rectangle, B, a pentagon, or C, triangle? Yes, Erica. B, pentagon. You are incorrect. Oh. Yes, the geek. A. You are incorrect and no, no one gets a point <laughs> because you guys aren't paying attention. It was a triangle. It was a triangle. Do we all need to take a breath because I feel like panic is taking over? Yes. Healthy competition happening right just here. Just press the button. Question number eight. What television show was this Alienware laptop featured in? A, The X-Files. B, Lost in Space. Or C, The Big Bang Theory. Yes, Brian. And C, Erica. The Big Bang Theory. I, it was probably because that is Sheldon. So yes, yes, you <laughs> absolutely got that one. Well done. <laughs> Question number nine. In the TV show, West Coast Customs, what vehicle did they customize for Alienware? Was it A, a Chevy 2500 HD truck, B, a Hummer, or C, a Ford Raptor? Quarter Jade. C. You are incorrect. Damien. I'm gonna guess a Chevy 2500 HD truck. You would be wrong, you get no oh. points for this question. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's a strat. There are literally three I options, I said. and you couldn't get it in two guesses. Yay! That is an achievement. <laughs> Thank you. Unlocked, great. Yeah. And last question for round four in Alienware history. What year did Alienware drop optical drives from their laptops? Was it A, 2010, B, 2015, or C, 2020? Yes, Erica. B. You are correct. Yeah. 2015. Come on. Yeah, I remember that having is an optical drive. Not what I whispered into her ear. Thank you for not listening. <laughs> 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 okay, teams. Now it's time to check your visual acuity with a little something we like to call the monitor zoom challenge. Remember that for these next two challenges, each correct answer will be worth a whopping 10 points. Yeah, this is where the teams can really catch up. On this lovely monitor in front of you, we are going to show an extreme close-up of a familiar image. Now, if you think you know what that image is, buzz in. The first team to get it right will win. If it's incorrect, another team can buzz in and steal it. But if you just don't know the answer and you're not confident, wait until maybe the image gets a little clearer. Now, if you answer incorrectly a second time, the question's dead, no one gets points. Sounds good? Yes. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's have a look at the very first image, extremely close up. The Geek Entry, what do you got? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that that's from Destiny 2, uh, the, the new expansion that's coming out. What do you think that is? That's the Witch Queen. Yes, you are 100% correct. That is Destiny 2 and that is the Witch Queen. Fantastic, moving on. That's 10 points, by the way. Amazing. Ooh. We're on the board. Right. If we get all of these, yeah. we're almost there. It's on you. Moving on to the next image. Who can guess what this is? Mm. Again. That is an Alienware headset. You are 100% correct. Well done. Yay. Yay. 
20 points straight out the gate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Said it could be anyone's game. There you go. There it is. The Alienware headset. This is 7.1 for those playing at home. Oh, shucks. Let's have a look at the next image. Who can guess what this is? Yes, Damien. That is the traveler from Genshin Impact. It is Genshin Impact. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> you were more specific Actually, oh than what was on the card. Right. Wow. Well done. Happy. I live in the Alienware present. <laughs> three for three over there, Damien. You're on fire. Big nerd. Put him out. Thank you. I did. I knew that. You knew that? Yeah, I knew that. Are we ready? No, you didn't. For the next guess. Who can guess what this is? What game it's from? <laughs> yes, quarter two. You're exactly right. This is a PUBG crate from the game PUBG. Dang, I was going to guess farming simulator, so I'm glad you. <laughs> it's pretty close. Everybody's in Erica, Brian, you haven't got a point from this game yet. There is one last image. Best of luck. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Who can guess what this is? Is that Damien again? Yeah, that is the special new hinge on the Alienware X14. Unbelievable. I, that is correct. I'm so impressed. I'm so <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Where did you even see that before? Yeah, well, it was on the briefing for this whole event. Yeah. Brian, what are you talking about? I can't. <laughs> 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 I believe right there, Damien didn't throw you under the bus, I, he was driving the bus. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't read. Ah, <laughs> uh, just happy to be here. Oh yo. my god. Hello, 911? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, that was the five images that you all saw from this particular challenge. Unfortunately, Eric and Brian, you didn't manage to land any of the points. I mean, you were very far behind, but let's check in with that leaderboard competition because things are really getting serious now. So let's see how these points are stacking up. In third place, Eric and Brian. <laughs> what? How does it feel? How many points? How does it feel? Um, it's actually okay because I haven't tied my self esteem to. Like, yeah, exactly. Game yeah, we but... have like, a little bit more going on in our lives. So, like... <laughs> Winning this isn't everything. I mean, no, it's not the same time. You know, I heard. Just want our it's cherry. You, you were ahead the whole game. I understand. Wait. Where? What, what points are we at now? You have 80 points. That's praise God. On 85 points. Oh. Damien and the Geek Entry. Oh yeah, you guys are so <laughs> far ahead of us. But I want you to enjoy this moment. Yeah. And only on 90 points, oh there is 10 God. points between the last and first place here. Sigils and Cordy. Jade. Oh. 90, 85, 80. So close. Dead, dead. We've got ourselves a ball game. Spicy. Yeah. Things are really heating up here. And for all you Alienware Arena members out there, or ones that want to be, we have something new to share with you. The Marketplace. Also, see how you could participate in additional Alienware programs. Hey everybody, I'm John from the community team and the new Alienware Arena site manager. If you don't already know what Arena is, it's the best gaming community where you can stay connected with our latest products, game industry news, and earn exclusive rewards such as games, giveaways, and more. We've got a ton of exciting changes coming this year with Arena, and I want to get started by talking about the new ways to earn ARP. ARP is not only how you level up on the site, but now it's your currency to get the latest and greatest rewards. We've added some new ways to earn ARP, like watching our Twitch streams, or those of our partners and Alienware Hive stream team members or playing Steam games and completing community play challenges, or just hanging out on the site with our community. And what good would earning ARP be if there wasn't a place to spend it? Introducing the Marketplace. Coming this spring, the Marketplace is where you can spend your hard-earned ARP to get things like Alienware gear, avatar items, and game codes like Destiny 2's latest expansion, The Witch Queen. We have more to come this year, so head over to AlienwareArena.com and I'll see you there. Remember to enter the sweepstakes for your chance to win an Alienware X14. Being an advocate for Alienware has taught me to be a better content creator. The program gave me a brand that I'm really proud to represent on my streams and in my content as both a student and as a pretty hardcore gamer and commentator. I think a good advocate is somebody who um, never settles and always continues to try to like push the bar even higher for each piece of content that they make. 
you not only get access to the wide array of very useful and very powerful products, but also the connections and the fellow content creators and students that you'll meet along the way who can teach you things that you didn't even know you didn't know. Being in the Advocate program has definitely helped me connect with other people with like-minded goals. And I was also able to be on the front page of Twitch and stream to, you know, thousands of people. I think I'm probably going to stick very, very close to their products because I'm really, really happy with my experience using them. I'm super happy that I chose to participate in the Alienware Advocate program, um, and I would recommend it to anyone who's struggling with that decision. Hungry Box, playing some God of War? Hey. What's happening, man? Hey, yeah, this is like watching a movie and playing at the same time. It looks ridiculously good. It is beautiful, man. That performance is just amazing, especially on that size display with all that, all those pixels running at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it handles it so well, but it's like not a single stutter, not a single flicker, just all beautiful particles, lighting, everything. Yeah. It's really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Graphics have come a long way. It's something that I think people need to keep in mind if you're going to upgrade to ultra wide, that you really need a system that can push all those extra pixels at the frame rate that you want. But for sure, yeah, I mean, this just looks gorgeous. This is NVIDIA graphics, yes? That's right, that's right. Our Alien World Aurora is carrying the latest NVIDIA GeForce RTX oh, graphics. Gotcha. And you know, NVIDIA has brought us some really cool technologies with these new graphics cards. We've got new updates to the DLSS technology, which we're all familiar with, right? But I wanna show you guys, for those of you guys who don't know what DLSS does, take a look at this video that we're gonna show you right now so yeah. you can see the difference. Let's look at it, it in action. So DLSS is deep learning super sampling and basically it's gonna give you a uh, quality boost but also frames per second boost uh, in your gaming when you turn it on. That's right, the individual tensor cores in those GPUs are rendering in real time particular objects throughout the game to both improve the quality mm -hmm. and check out the numbers. It's also a performance <laughs> advantage. So that's what most people don't know, that DLSS primarily is a performance advantage to your actual real gameplay. And honestly, in a game like this, like action intensive with so much happening on a screen real estate this big, like FPS is everything. You want that. That so. dragon fight's so cool! Sorry. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is, but you're, you guys are both 100% correct. The LSS makes such a big difference when you have the option yeah. to turn that on in your game and in your system. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, so FPS is definitely a benefit of that DLSS technology. Mm -hmm. But hey, performance isn't everything. You mentioned that, you know, in these particular games you want high frame rates but in other games you just want a beautiful scene you want it to look just gorgeous the way that people imagined these other worlds so that you can get lost oh, yeah. so there's, there's another ingredient to the RTX technologies that are really, really cool. I bet you're going to guess what that I is. I was like, are you leading us into a conversation on ray tracing, Eddie? Because Absolutely. that's where I feel like Absolutely. we're going. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really important to show you guys what these technologies do because people talk about them all the time, but do they really understand what they do and what the benefit is? So we wanted to like just take some time to show you guys, you know, a little bit of on and off action. Yeah, um, and I think we have a video to show you ray tracing off and on as well um, because that comparison to me, Ray tracing is where it's oh, wow. at when it comes to immersion in games. Um, for people that are not familiar, uh, when you watch a TV show or movies, it, it, you have ray tracing, but it's all been rendered ahead of time, right? Because you know exactly what you're gonna see. Whereas when you're playing a video game, your, your, trace, your rays need to be traced, as I jokingly like to say, in real time. You're moving around yeah. through the environment, and things are moving in real time. So your lighting effects, your reflections, your shadows, et cetera, all need to be rendered as you're moving through the game. That's right. And that that's like, that's very graphically and computationally intense. It's like, imagine putting the sun in a particular place and then having it, you know, produce the light that it would as if it were right there. And that's exactly hot. what Ray did. <laughs> it would be very hot. It would be very, very hot. hot. But it'd be real. So check out that scene right there, right? And that scene yeah. you can see, you know, the light coming in down through the, the street along with the fire. And 
honestly, like, ever, ever since, like, ray tracing was that much more, like, emphasized, mm -hmm. it's like, there was cutscenes and gameplay, but now it's becoming harder and harder to, like, distinguish the two of them because it yeah. looks like a movie in real time. Yeah. Yes, because cutscenes were pre-rendered. Yeah. The ray tracing was already yeah. figured out. For sure. Yes, that's exactly it. I don't know if, now, yeah. I don't know if either of you have played uh, Control by Remedy Games. I haven't played Control. Yeah. Please jump in. Do yourselves a favor and jump in. It's one of the games that I feel like best uh, it shows off ray tracing in its glory. You have yep. telekinetic powers. You can like pull whole chunks of the ground out and as the debris is floating in the air, you're seeing each individual shadow from that. And I, I feel like they're flexing because a lot of the levels are also uh, like reflective glass walls and stuff. So you're getting all of it in one demo. It's it's gorgeous. In real time. In real time. Yeah. That sounds yeah. like eye candy for sure. And by the way, you're experiencing that on an Aurora, which is our right. desktop, right? But we also have these technologies on these laptops that we just launched, Ooh. right? So we just brought out the new RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti graphics cards. So you can get that experience. You can get beautiful quality and amazing performance, not only in our Aurora desktops, but in our M series and X series laptops as well. So it's an amazing time to be in gaming. That's amazing. Just having that level of quality on the go is, uh, we're pretty spoiled, I would say. Yeah, we're pretty sure. spoiled. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my day, we had to choose do I want to bring down quality to get more frame rates or do I want to do the opposite? So now you can get both. Yeah, I, I feel like there are still consumers out there that think that that's the way that it is. And meanwhile, you know, I feel like Hungrybox and I are listening to you talk and just making our wish lists yeah. over here <laughs> of things that are to come. Uh, folks, stay tuned because our next X14 travel vlog comes to us all the way from the UK. Check it out. Hello, my name is Ryan Central. I'm a YouTuber at the channel Hitscan, as well as a caster and analyst that focuses on Riot's tactical shooter, Valorant. Because I do esports, I have to travel a lot whilst also doing YouTube bits and pieces, which if you haven't guessed is what I'm about to do now. I'm not traveling away for work, said I'm going to the best place in the world, that being Yorkshire. I really need to get going, so let's go. Bye, Ra. It is a great chance for me to stress test the X14 and be able to not only play Valorant on some really nice settings and show the power, but also show how beautiful Yorkshire is whilst I'm at it. Where does the time go? It is hard to believe. We've actually arrived at our fifth and final category of the show. Now this is your last chance to grab points in the game and then win that cash prize for your charity. A reminder, there really is only 10 points between all the scores here. It's anyone's game. <laughs> the final category is Alienware products. Question number one. What makes Alienware products best in class and popular with gamers and esports athletes around the world? Is it A, they can be used underwater, B, every product is built with the gamer in mind, or C, their products are built with thermodynamic parts? That's too early, who's next? Wait for it. Yes, Brian. Uh, I would like to choose um, B. You would be correct. Well done. <gasps> We're all tied up. Okay. Oh, Sigils, how Jade? Do we need to have a talk? No, no, I just, I was a little jumpy, I was a little jumpy. Question number two. What is the name of this Alienware desktop from 2004? Roswell, New Mexico, 1947. UFO wreckage is discovered and seized by military personnel. It is speculated that the alien technology recovered has been applied to modern day innovations. To this day, the government denies any existence of alien technology. Is it A, Alienware X51? Is it B, Alienware Alpha? Or C, Alienware Area 51? Erica. Area 51. It is the Alienware oh, no. Area 51. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well done. Oh. 
because they came back as a triangle, not as a pentagon. Come on. Or a circle. Come on. Whatever. Just have the poster for this, her carrying me at this point. <laughs> and I, I feel you. And question number three, how much does the new X14 laptop weigh? Is it A, 4.06 pounds, B, 4.96 pounds, or C, 5.22 pounds? Yes, it does. I believe it is C. 5.22 pounds, you are incorrect. Damien. It is B. Oh. It is actually the lightest weight oh. out of all three options. I thought you read the brief. It is A, 4.06 pounds, which is only 1.84 kilograms. We get those points though because I was gonna answer correct if I- That is not how this works. That's what that was. <laughs> Question number four. To describe the new Aurora R13 gaming desktop and its unprecedented dual fan power, Alienware team members often use what three words? A, bigger, better, colder. B, bigger, better, stronger. C, bigger, better, cooler. Brian. No, hey, cheaters. I said C. Cheaters. cheaters. I will remind you that you cannot confer with your teammate. You must answer. But I, <laughs> she didn't even tell me anything yet. No? No, because I said C to her. We're, 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 we're. Well then say C to me, because you'd be correct. C to you, baby. <laughs> the baby was unnecessary, but I can't give bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, we're in Vegas. Nice. Congratulations okay. for that one. Question number five. How much HD video playback is the X14 laptop capable of? Is it A, 10 hours and 59 minutes? B, 11 hours and 18 minutes? Or C, 13 hours and five minutes? That was a little early. We will wait, we will wait, we will wait. Stop pressing it, please, because that's not how the buzzer works. We will wait. <laughs> or is it C, 13 hours and five minutes? Sigils. Is it C? It is not. Oh, the geek entry. <laughs> uh, going with B. It is B, 11 hours and 18 minutes. Ooh, we are tricky over here. <laughs> well done. Question number six. What is the largest size monitor that Alienware produces? Is it A, 42 inches, B, 55 inches, or C, 65 inches? We'll go with Erica and Brian. 55 inches. You are correct. Yeah. You are correct on that one. Hey. I contributed some. Yeah, well done. Question number seven, and please wait till I finish reading all the answers. What's the resolution on the new 34 inch QD OLED monitor? Is it A, 3440 by 1400, B, 3290 by 1450, or C, 3350 by 1425? Yes, Erica. A. It is 100% A, yes. you are correct. Uh, okay. Yes. I know because I have to keep moving things around. <laughs> uh, make my desktops look good. <laughs> Question number eight. How much storage did the original Alienware Alpha come with? We are going old school here. Is it A, 250 gigabytes, B, 500 gigabytes, or C, 750 gigabytes? Sigils. Uh, a. 250, yeah. you'd be incorrect. The geek entry. E? You are absolutely correct with that. Yeah! Gigabytes. Well done. Thank you. We are up to question number nine. What is the DPI on the Alienware AW720M mouse? Is it A, 18,000, B, 22,000, or C, 26,000? Erica or Brian? C. You are correct. Well done. I know. I know. Where did that confidence come from? You get this <laughs> far away look in your eyes when you actually know the answer. I and you're do. like, I how do. did you know that one? Huh? How did you know that one? Because I want the mouse really bad, so I've been <laughs> studying the whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. I have all the answers written on my leg. I oh. knew it. You're wearing jeans. <laughs> Hands are too tight. They're not, too, yes. they're not too tight. I've just it's been in quarantine for two years. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final question of the final round. Good luck. Question number 10. How long do you need to charge the AW920H headset to get six hours of battery life? Is it A, 10 minutes, B, 15 minutes, or C, 20 minutes? 
Damien. Vista. The Geek Entry. Geek. 15 minutes? Yeah. You are correct. Yay, well done. Yeah, you are correct yeah, with cool. that one. So all the questions are now done. Well done on that round. Wow. Good job, everybody. Wow. That was solid. Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know about you, my hands are kind of shaking. Oh this is God. getting good. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how people love to talk about how great a game looks, but there just aren't as many of us out there who understand how important great sound is? Except for all of our competitors today, of course, naturally. But now, we're gonna see if you've really been listening. Because in this final challenge of the day, we are asking you to put on the brand new noise-canceling Alienware 920 headset that is below your desk right now. You get a headset, you get a headset, you all get a headset. Check them out, aren't they pretty? Awesome. So let's check in with how the points stand currently. Coming into the final challenge, Oh, there's only 20 points between everyone. In third place on 90, we have Sigils and Quarter Jade. In second place with 100 points, it's Damien and the Geek Entry. Not last, by the way. And in first place again, after flirting with being last for a moment there, with 110 points, it is Erica and Brian. Oh, we did it, we did it. Oh, everything hey, matters in this game. There's no losers here except for the two teams that don't win. Now the rules are simple. We'll play a famous sound effect or sample of music from a game. And all you have to do is once you recognize it, buzz through and give your answer. If it's correct, you get 10 points. If you do not guess it, you are out of that round and another team can try and steal those points. If the second team tries to guess and does not get it, no one earns points for that round. So all ready to hear our first sound. Take a listen and tell me what game this is from. <laughs> Damien, you buzzed in first. Uh, that's gonna be from Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man, I don't know which, but Pac-Man. That is, and what sound would you say that is? Uh, that's like a waka waka waka. You bet it is, <laughs> nicely done. Well done. 10 points straight away there. Why is he the best at this? He's really good. Why is he the best at this? I would be intimidated. Here is your next sound, what game and how would you describe the noise? Damien, you were lightning fast on that one. What's the sound uh, and what that's game? That's going to be uh, a Mario Kart. Yeah, when does that happen? Um, at the beginning of the race. <laughs> you got 10 more points for that one. We are moving on to the third no! sound. Who says this from what game? Boy. Oh, she, oh, oh. Damien. No. That's, uh, yes. that's going to be Kratos from God of War. Yes! You bet it is. Ah! Erica, I was waiting for you to get it. Ah! Air faster on the buzzer. <laughs> they got it. They got it. Yeah, no need to be polite oh, here. As God. soon as you know it, you buzz in. This is the fourth sound. What game is it from? <laughs> Damien. That's Pokemon. It, is. Music. it really is. I would describe it as a. <laughs> <laughs> well described. Pitch perfect. So fast. Well done. Is that four for four? Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> If, if it weren't for charity. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, your heart's in a good place, but you are absolutely obliterating everyone else. Is yes, one? There is great. one last sound. I want to know, what game is this quote from? I used to be an adventurer like you. <laughs> then I took an arrow in the knee. Different teammate, same team, yeah. the geek entry. Skyrim. It is, Yay! it's Skyrim. Yay! I was so impressed. Yeah. <laughs> so that is all the sounds we have for our final challenge. Uh, Erica, it. Brian, Sigils, Quarter Jade, you were in that round, but you didn't earn any points. Yeah, we the Geek Entry, Damien, <laughs> you've had a very, very difficult game this entire time, but it turns out you were listening. And you I'm listened. So sorry. Very well. <laughs> no apologies needed at all. Amazing job, everyone here. Now, while we tally that score, and find out what the total is uh, and who won today. <laughs> Check out your final location for the X14. talk for a sec about how legitimately impressed I am by the Alienware X14. It is 
so small and so light. Um, I never really know where my day is going to take me usually. I could be going to set, I could have voiceover to record, I could potentially be traveling, you know, and the world is a little bit safer again. And I love having the power to do what I need at my fingertips. Um, this thing is incredibly light, but it's still really beefy in terms of like power. Um, it's frankly exactly what I need. Sometimes you don't want to lug around something huge and that's kind of perfect. Um, it also doesn't feel flimsy. Um, um, it, while it is light, I'm not like constantly worried I'm going to break it. Because when you know when you're traveling, you you need to know that it's going to be okay, that you have it in luggage or are carrying it in a backpack. So um, frankly, it's kind of perfect for me. Once again, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who helped make today's Alienware update so incredible. It's now time to find out today's winner for the game show. Drum roll, please. And that'll do. What an intense game. You're all amazing. But in third place today with 90 points, Sigils and Quarter Jade. All right. 90 right. 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 Pretty good run. Pretty good run. You did great. You had a <laughs> I contributed too, okay? <laughs> With 110 points in second place, Erica and Brian. We did it. We did it! We did it. The 80s anime villains, yeah, villains got, <laughs> had, had our uppance. We had our comeuppance, yeah. In the third. You actually predicted they that. They had us in the first half. Where we had them. <laughs> uh -huh. Congratulations. That's well okay, done. I can see a broken heart. <laughs> And in first place, the underdogs of this entire competition, getting 150 points in the end. It is the Geek Entry and Damien Haas. Well done! <laughs> Woo! Literally getting really? points at the very end. <laughs> Literally. Yep. Well, $5,000 for your charity was Whoa. up for grabs here. Let's I have go. very large checks for you. There you go for Extra Life and the Trevor Project. Come on. Yay! Awesome. Go! Congratulations. You really did it. Is there anything you'd like to say? We win. I'm sorry. Yay. Thank you. I'm sorry and thank you. Yay. Happy to be here live. Anything you want to say to the charities that you're playing for today? Yes, please check out the Trevor Project. I find it to be very, very, very important. Uh, there's a lot of youth out there that are uh, in situations that are not so great. They need the resources. They need the support. They need to know that they're not alone. Um, so please check it out. I'm not as professional, but for the kids. <laughs> Fantastic, congratulations for that one. Aww. And a special shout out to our other contestants today. Thank you so much for playing. You were absolutely amazing. That Me was too. a blast. So there fun. are no so losers fun. here. No, no. Well, well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Mm -hmm. well done. Now, we'd love to get your input <laughs> and help to make the Alienware update even better in the future by filling out a brief survey by scanning that QR code right there on your computer, your phone, or your tablet. You could win 25 ARP just for participating. Also, here is now your chance to win a new X14 laptop. Just scan that QR code on the screen to enter best of luck. Signing off, I'm Maud Garrett.